Hey, what's up, guys? I've had this little uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W kit for a couple months now, and I've been looking for something to do with it. And I figured it out. We're going to turn it into a pie hole. If you don't know what a pie hole is, you might want to watch this and you'll find out. But uh, first, let me give you a look at the kit and everything that comes with it, and then we'll get into building the pie hole. All right? Let's go. So here's everything that's in the Pi Zero W kit. A power cord with a on off switch. A USB adapter for the power cord. And uh, if you guys read that, it says output one five volt two amp output two five volt two amp total maximum output power of 10 watts so you can see it's a uh, two port adapter a micro usb to usb hub powered a micro HDMI to HDMI cord, the case, and the Pi Zero W. Let's take a closer look at that. So if we're looking top down at the Zero W, we have our micro SD card slot, our micro HDMI, our Broadcom system on a chip that contains the uh, processor, the graphics processor, and the memory. Now this really, I don't know if you can tell how shiny that is. See how shiny that is? That is an unprotected silicon right there. That is silicon on board. That is our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. We have some passive components here. I believe this one is the power, and this one is our USB. We have our 40-pin header. We have a header for a reset, and a header for our TV out. All right, the case they sent me um, thoughtfully enough, has a nice spacer there for the um, heat sink, and I've got a nice little bag of heat sinks here, so hopefully one of these guys will fit, pretty sure it will. We'll put that on there. Then we'll put the case together. Should be good. All right, there it is. All nice and assembled. Got an eight gigabyte class 10 SD card loaded with Raspi and Jesse. And we'll go from there. All right, so I've got the Raspberry Pi set up. I use noobs and as you saw in that little instruction doohickey though, we got Rasby and Jesse running. And I've set up a VNC server on it so we can uh, do everything from here. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to set up the pie hole. A black hole for internet ads. Woo! I hope it works. 
So hopefully this should be an ad blocker that is going to block everything attached to my in-house network. And supposedly it's pretty easy to install. All you need is uh, one command, curl dash small s large sl https install pihole.net vertical line bash. So uh, let's do it. We'll bring up my pie hole, log in, there we go, whoops, did I just lose it? No, there we are. Okay, so, can we copy this? I don't know if this will work copying across here or not. Hope so, that'll make things really easy. And then we'll open a terminal. And let's see what happens. Copy, paste, hot diggity. So here we go. Wow. That was really quick. Okay, what's well still rolling here? All right, there we go. We're now installing packages. It shouldn't take too long. I mean, it's only retrieving one file of one, right? All right, I'll be back when it's done. Well, that took less than 20 seconds. So it needs a static IP address. You can use these your current settings for DHCP to manually open. Okay. Select our upstream DNS provider. Google should be just fine. Select protocols. Oh, we'll select them both. Why not, right? There we go. Do you want to use your current network settings? Sure. Why not, right? It's possible your router could still try and assign this IP to a device which causes a conflict. In most cases, the router is smart enough. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. IPv6, okay, good to know. Do you wish to install the web admin interface? Well, it says it's recommended, so yes. Yes, I do. Do you want to log queries? Sure. I mean, why not, right? If we're going to install the software, we want to install the uh, install the software to the maximum benefit. The download is complete, and now it is uh, installing the packages. We'll be back when that part's done. Oh, well, if it's only going to take three seconds or two seconds, we might as well just wait, right? No, I think it's going to take longer. Okay, so that actually took about 10 minutes. Now it's giving me some information that I need to copy down. Okay, so we got that info copied, bang. Now we need to reboot. And that should take care of that. So the next step is I need to configure my router so that Pi-hole is my DNS server and I will do that and we'll be right back okay so I've activated the Pi-hole by resetting everything unfortunately my router won't let me change the DNS so I had to activate the Pi-hole DHC server and grab everything from there. 
What if we go here, we can go to the dashboard. This is the Pi Hole Command Console. And there you see what we're doing. All right. Let's uh, go in and hit on um, the Pi Hole uh, test page and check out some ads. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to test it out. You can see I just did a little test here. We'll go pages to test ad blocking. This is on the Pi Hole site. There's this page. It says load some page level ads from Amazon and Google. And I don't see any. So that's a good thing. Let's uh quick place to generate large ads and other DNS queries. Bid race. Okay, let's open this up in a new tab. And see what we get here. <laughs> Looks like mostly nothing. Let's jump over to our, uh, whoops, wrong button. Still wrong button. Come on, Paul. There we go. Reload this. Yeah, look at that. You can see the queries are just shooting up. 297, 90 blocks since this has been running in like the last two minutes. So it's blocked 90 ads in two minutes. Is that insane or what? That is that is mind blowing to me. If we come back in here, see, uh, it's this page is like nothing but ads. All right, let's try a different one. Um, Boston, Boston.com. Let's open that up in a new tab and have a look at it here. And while it's loading, we'll jump back over to the Pi Hole admin page. So you can see, yeah, it's jammed up. 341. We'll go back over to the Baston page. Looks like one squeak through. That's their own ad, so that's not being served from anywhere. That's pretty good so far. All right, let's go back and we'll try one more. This one down here that says it can't really be described. Ling's cars. Not so great. Not so great for testing ad blocking as much as it seems built in. Okay, so we'll not do that one then. Web page is specifically built for testing ad blockers. All right. Oh wait, we're real, real web. I can't even talk. Here's a site that exists to test ad blocking. All right. I'm game. You guys game? Let's do it. So it's loading. Ad blocking test. Uh, let's go over to our Pi Hole console. This number here, this number here is somewhat concerning to me that it's only blocking 28% of the ads. Let's jump over here. Ad blocking test. But I tell you what. I don't see any ads. So even though this number seems low, let's re let's reload this here. Let's see our query log. Kind of whistled on that one, didn't I? Our, our query log. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff indeed. But no, that's cool. I am a. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So, all right. Pie hole, pretty easy installation. If you don't want to see ads, boom, there you go. And with the size of the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W, you could stick that thing literally anywhere. Make sure you have good air circulation, and you're applying uh, enough power. It's it definitely needs some power. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big thank you to all my patrons. That's it. 
I'm out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.